So um, we've now put this saddle on, on a horse. Uh, we're going to check, check the position of the girth straps. Why is that a, um, an issue? Well, the girth straps, the position of the girth straps is, a, is very important because in a case like this, for instance, you have a horse with a nice long shoulder. Here's the shoulder blade finishing there. That's where we place the saddle behind the shoulder blade. And you can see these girth straps are way back here. What people, most people do is they either pull the girth straps forward like this to girth up there, and you can see the angle of them, or um, they grab the saddle and they'll pull it up here like this and then girth it up. By doing that, of course, you're putting the saddle up on the horse's shoulders, you're changing the balance, now it's higher in front because it's on the broader part of the horse's shoulders. Saddle higher in front and we're sitting too far back here. Sit it back behind the shoulder, like this, and going back to this situation here where if the, you girth up an angle like that, the, the girth won't slip back because the horse's rib cage comes out wide like this. And this is the narrowest part of the horse. That's where the girth gets done up here. So what happens is as the horse starts moving, the saddle will pull forward like this, okay? The girth won't slip back. The saddle will pull forward up under the shoulders, onto the trapezius muscle and restrict their movement and head carriage comes up. We're going to demonstrate how quick and easy it is for us to change this girth situation on a, on a, on a, on a Peter Horriban saddle um, without sending it away, without too much drama. It can all be done on site. So turning the saddle upside down, you can see where the girth straps are coming out. Now there's two slots. What we're going to simply do is open up the flap in the panel and bring this front girth strap out through the front slot here. So here we go. That. Give that strap a bit of a kink, like that. Push it through. This is something you can do at home as well. That's how easy it is. Pop it up through here and pull it out there like that. Very easy. The Velcro will hold the panel and the flap together. And now the whole girth positioning is in a lot better position to suit this horse. Behind the shoulder, and already you can see the first girth strap comes straight down. The second one comes across to meet it, and it's in a much better position. Holds the saddle nicely in place. The second girth strap is attached to a, comes up here and is attached to a V webbing. So it's not like you're moving this one to the front and everything's going to pull down like this. Um, you're moving it to the position where it suits the horse and holds the saddle in place without it slipping forward. And this one meets to here like this. So that's how easy it is.